Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a mouse cursor type simulation uh, inside of Create Studio. So this is a really cool um, element that you can add to your scenes to, you know, drag things on and, and give the simulation of an actual mouse, like, you know, dragging things on to your screen. So let's go ahead and delete this and start from scratch. So what you want to do is add, you know, you could, it could be a logo, for example. Let's actually go get, grab a logo. So I'm going to use this Create Studio one. And I'll just scale that down like so. And what I'm also going to do is grab a mouse cursor. So if you go to the studio panel and under elements, you've got cursors and you can drag, you know, whatever one you like. Um, let's go and maybe I'll go grab this one here. Okay, cool. And what we can do is start animating it. So what we can do is simply go over to motion presets and you can do this with keyframes, but with motion presets, um, yeah, it's quite simple to do as well. So let me show you this easy way. So if you go to position for in and then select top like so, you'll see you've got this kind of animation where it kind of just slides in like this. And what we're going to do is drag that logo. And we also want to adjust the starting position of this mouse uh, cursor to go in from an angle. So what I'm going to do is just drag zoom right out to show you. So this is the start point. If I click on this time, uh, the on the timeline on this animation, you can see that we've got these preset properties and the settings basically show the position on the Y axis. So it's at 500%. If I drag this up with my time indicator at the start of the animation, if I drag this up like this, you can see that you can adjust the starting position of this um, element. So if I just play this through, now it's a lot slower because it starts at, at this position on the canvas. And what we can also do is click on advanced settings and I can go to the X position and I can move this across by left clicking, holding and dragging this to the right. And now the uh, indicator is coming in from that position like so. And what we, what we could also do is actually adjust the angle of this um, cursor. So if I just zoom in a bit better, what we could do is go to rotation and we could rotate this on a slight angle so that it starts on the angle and then it comes in straight like this. Okay, cool. So what we want to do now that we've created this animation is go ahead and left click on the animation, use Command C or Control C to copy, and then click on the logo and Command V or Control V to paste that animation. So you can see we've got this animation. It's slightly on the screen, so probably what we want to do is just move this back off a little bit. So I'm going to select the animation and go to Y position, just drag this down slightly more. And then I'm just going to copy that animation to make it the same as the mouse cursor like this. Okay, cool. So now I've got it dragged on. What we can do with this mouse cursor is move him off. So I'm going to drag this over and then I'm going to go to motion, out, position, bottom. And if I just move this down like this, I'm going to bring it slightly higher up so it doesn't go too far. And I'm also going to move it off to the right like this, okay? So let's just preview that. Okay, cool. And what we could also do with this logo, once it drags on, we can make it pop up to add a bit of extra animation. So I'm gonna use a keyframe for this one. So you can select the logo, click on add animation, go to properties and scale. Um, for a keyboard shortcut, you can just simply select this and hit S for scale, and it will add the properties to activate them. And then what I can do is select the end keyframe, like so. So now it's selected, and I can adjust the scaling. So I'm going to bring it up a bit, okay, something like that. So it drops it in, and then it's going to pop up like that. And we could play around with the easing to create a different type of effect. So if I select the animation here and go to easing, and select out, and I'm going to go with back. So it's going to kind of do this kind of pop effect. And let's just preview that. Cool. So you can adjust the, the animation if you want to make it a bit faster, just drag it closer together. And that's looking pretty cool. And maybe you want to bring this cursor off so it pops up first. And then he moves off like that. Okay, and what you could also do, just a quick extra, what you could do is add a position animation hitting P on your keyboard. Okay, and we could then also maybe using a scale one. So we, we're basically activating position and scale on these keyframes. And what I could do is 
bring it the scale down a bit and then move it up slightly like this. I'll just center it on the canvas. So it pops up like that, it kind of scales down and what we could then do is add some text. So I could go with, you know, create studio like this. And this could be, maybe we could go the scale animation for this one. Let's go scale elastic up. And again, I'm gonna play around with these properties. So bring this down and like so. So as it kind of scales up, this kind of pops in like this. So let's just preview this animation. Cool, so you might want to play around with that, make sure it's nicely centered on the screen like that. And that's how you can play around with motion presets and key frames as well as how to you know create a really nice simulation of a mouse cursor, you know, dragging things in and around on the canvas. So have a go with that, play around with the animations. Um, yeah, and as always, have fun creating.